Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Luminar Neo because Skylum just released the 102 update and it has some exciting features, so I want to show you that. But before we do that, uh, there is something that I just want to say that if you don't know, Skylum is located in Ukraine and you know very well what's going on in Ukraine. So I think this is amazing that the guys, even though there's a war raging on, they're still working on the updates, bringing us what they promised so it just shows how much they care about the customers so thank you very skydom and i hope you guys are safe before i jump on to talk about the update uh, let's just have a bit of history of lumina so i started with lumina 2018 then updated to three and then four and ai and now the neo so i'm kind of following how it's gone there are some major changes in the luminar neo just like before in luminar ai luminar 4 and luminar 3 and it's basically how the tools are working in luminar 3 you have to select from a list which tool you want to use then you added it to your edits and then just did the settings and you can add the tool multiple times you can mask them and all these things Luminar 4 changed it a bit. Uh, you had all the tools, but you had adjustment layers. So you can just uh, set the settings, whichever you want. And then if you want to use a tool multiple times, just add another adjustment layer and just use the tool again. Luminar AI kept that all the tools you have on the side from Luminar 4, but removed the layers. So there was no option to use a tool multiple times. I think that was the biggest feedback about this version and luminar neo brings back the way how luminar 3 was i think that you have all the tools and as soon you start editing one of them it drops in in your edits and then you have all your edits there and this can be a little confusing and let me show you how so here's this uh, shot now i just want to show you quickly uh, i was shooting this while we were doing the review for the samyang 2470 f 2.8 if you haven't seen it then link is just above there so, for example, if I just go in and say AI and move the accent and the sky and hands are a little colors, you know, it's getting there already. Maybe a little golden hour, I'd like that. And why not be the winner tin? A bit more. Okay, so if you see, now it's all here in the edits. What was first confusing for me that when I went back to Enhance AI, everything is back to zero. I was like, what happened? I can see it's there. You can clearly see that the image is edited, but where are my settings? So I was like, okay, let's just set it again. But what I just did, you see, here's the old Enhanced AI and here's the new one. So I have to delete that. And I have to click here on edits and then just go to Enhanced AI and just pull it back or add a bit more sky and so. You can see that now all these edits that came after the enhancing AI, they're just not showing. So I have to constantly go back. Yeah, this is what I want. Go a bit more enhance, it's too, too much. You can see, so I have to go back and forth, back and forth to see what I'm doing. Instead of when I'm just editing this one, I want this as well to show or not show. That should be like an option, like a checkable option to show all edits or just what you're editing. So yeah, as you can see, this can be a little confusing. Now, the main thing that I was missing from Luminar Neo is the presets. So as you can see, Luminar Neo is coming with some presets that already installed, like, um, I don't know, let's just choose one. Find our natural skies and then crack down. And here comes the shop that it removes all your edits if you apply a preset. Well, I'm not entirely happy about it, but the second shock that uh, came, but a certain thing I, I really don't like that it just applies as one edit and you can only change the opacity. Now let me show you how it worked in the previous version of Luminar AI. If I go to templates, which was the old name, now it's called presets, and I apply one, then as you can see, all the edits it makes are here. So I can just, i say too much and then say either I can pull it back. So it really allowed me to customize the presets or templates or whatever you call it. When you created your own, you can always fine tune it to the actual image and not just using just one slider to uh, adjust the strength. As of now, you cannot save your own presets in Luminar Neo. So hope, and it's just wishful thinking, 
that when it comes out it will be the way it was in Luminar AI so it will add all the edits here that I've made on the image or I set in the preset. So let's talk about the update. Finally, it gives you the option to synchronize all your edits or copy paste them. And this gives a bit of work around of the issue with the presets. That what I do is I have this edit here in my presets folder and I just copy the adjustment from here and then just paste it in. This is where the issues are still there. Performance is still very, very slow, especially when you paste it in on a stronger computer, you still have to wait. Okay, so as you can see, my edits are finally here. So let's go into the edit option and you can see that all the edits I had are nicely here. So this is a bit of work around. You just have to make a folder where you put some images and then just use them for saving your preset technically. It's a bit more complicated than just having them saved as a preset, but as of now, I think this is the best way to have your presets and have your adjustments, just copy paste them. It's very slow when you paste them, but after that it just speeds up and works perfectly. Now, there are some caveats because uh, if you had any previous edits on the image, like on this one, if you have a look, as you can see, I already had a, just a few uh, changes. Like um, here I raised from the corner, you can see just have a look on the top right corner of the image and I just added a bit of contrast. So I want this to be my base image for my preset. So again, if I go in my presets and just copy the adjustment and yeah, you can see that this is happening, that it just two black images. Now I have to wait until it loads. And then I go adjustments and paste adjustments. The first thing you will notice all my edits, the crop, the contrast, everything is just gone. Let's just go to the edit. Here in edits, you can see that it just removed everything I did before. So just keep in mind that if you made any adjustments and you paste another adjustments, it will overwrite the other adjustments. But as of now, this is a very good way to have your presets from one image to another. Just have one folder with just adjustments set as a preset and then you can work with that. There's one more update on, in the 102 and this is introducing what they call the 3D adjustment or something like that, but it's actually just perspective correction. It's a bit hidden. You can find it in develop and here in transform. So here you have the optics. Here you can correct lens distortion. Let's that looks fine and um, here you have the transform is called but actually this is the perspective correction so for example I just put the vertical and then you can see that now the horizontal lines are almost fully horizontal there you go so you can see now the perspective is corrected here's a before and here's an after just more pleasing isn't it again if you are adding your own uh, settings after this this will again go so the best thing to do is start with copy the adjustments, then just paste it on the image. Again, you will have to wait a bit. So here we go, the edits are added. And then again, you just go to here in the edits now in develop. And as you can see, all the edits are gone. And then just a bit of vertical back again. Oop, wrong direction here. And, and here we go. Okay, so just make sure that First, you paste all your adjustments from the preset template you set and then just start the editing like perspective correction or any any, any else like vignetting if you want to add or whatever you want. So this is my quick review on the Luminar 102 update from Skylum. And uh, as you can see, the two tools they gave us is really helpful. It's a big step up for Luminar Neo. As a standalone now, it's quite usable. But as I said, as a plugin, you still can't access your presets. So I will wait till I start using it as a plugin. I'm still using Luminar AI for that. But I'm excited about the 1.1 update, which will bring us the presets and histogram and, and other features and probably uh, bug fixes as well, more performance updates. So I don't know when it's gonna be released. They uh, promised end of March, but please <laughs> don't expect them to do that because of the situation in Ukraine. So if it, if it comes when it comes, we'll be still happy to receive it. I hope you like this quick review and 
please go to Skyloom's website, read about the situation and read how you can help Ukraine or Skyloom. Uh, please, if you can, do so. See you in the next video. Bye.